Terry. So um, I expect that the impact of the housing choices um, amendment that you're referring to will be fairly muted. Um, we'll get some amount of um, two family or duplex housing. I don't think we're gonna get very much. I think that that we get will be incrementally smaller and less expensive per unit as what we were otherwise going to get over time. And um, probably not what you would call low income housing, but um, middle income housing, I think is a legitimate policy goal as well. Um, if you talk to local realtors, they'll tell you we're losing entire um, price ranges of housing, particularly between $400,000, dollars um, The supply of uh, housing for those folks is really dwindling. Um, housing choices is not gonna be the main solution to that. I think we have three options. Uh, number one, we're doing a lot of subsidizing of, of affordable housing um, as is. The council just passed, I think it was a $9 million bond in the last year. Um, I'm in favor of continuing to do that, but I think we also need to pursue some other solutions at the same time. One is to produce more, what I would call market rate affordable housing. So market rate housing that's um, less expensive than what you might see in Blue Hill nowadays. I think the way to do that is to ratchet down the unit sizes. Um, Durham is now starting to produce micro units. Uh, we're not producing any. And I think part of the equation there is we need to um, set the table for them. Uh, people don't wanna live in really small spaces if, if it's too car oriented and they have nowhere to go, no amenities in the neighborhood. So I think if we can plan better, we can get more market rate affordable housing, which is a lot more scalable for us than the subsidies. Uh, last thing I'll mention real quick is I think we need to um, continue talking to UNC about how to use uh, their land more efficiently. That's going to be part of the answer.